Uh, my name is Pooja. I am originally from Botswana, but I am Indian by origin and I live in the UK at the moment. Um, I've been working with the Art of Living Foundation for the last 15 years now. I came across the course 17 years ago myself. Um, loved what it did for me, um, how it made me grow in every aspect of my life. So I started getting more and more involved with the organization. And today I'm a teacher of um, the programs. Okay. So I teach youth programs, I teach um, corporate programs, I've taught in prisons, I've taught in slum areas in Africa, um, all over the world. Yeah, so you're still going back to Africa? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, today we talked a lot about leadership and skills needed, especially female skills needed uh, to lead a group of people, to lead a country, to become global citizen whatsoever. Right. What does leadership mean to you and what skills do you think are required? You know, um, there's, there's something we teach in our programs called the ABC. Uh, A is awareness. Awareness of our world, awareness of people, um, acceptance of different cultures. And then the B is belongingness. Feel a sense of belongingness, not just with your country and your people, but a sense of belongingness with the whole world. Make the whole world your home. And then C is the commitment. Um, or the courage, you know, to want to make a difference mm -hmm. to not just yourself and your family and your friends and your country, but beyond that as well. Mm -hmm. So this is like the ABC philosophy that we teach. Okay. And um, the leader, or where I say, who I've learned leadership qualities from, is the founder of the Art of Living Foundation, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Um, he leads through example, he leads through inspiration. The whole organization is actually just inspired by him. Mm -hmm. Every single person in the organization is a volunteer. So you'll find doctors, businessmen, all these um, you know, people in high-flying careers mm -hmm. teaching these courses in their free time, not getting anything in it just because they've found something wonderful and they want to mm -hmm. go and share it with people around them. Yeah. And he um, lives every, everything he teaches, you know, so from the principle of belongingness to the principle of making yourself at home everywhere, yeah. you know, to being compassionate to people around you, to caring beyond your own needs, you know, and to feel a sense of responsibility. These are the mm -hmm. things he does, you know, he travels tirelessly all over the world. So. Um, I, when I was sharing previously with the group, um, I had shared that four years ago I was back home in Botswana and I got kidnapped by six gunmen and um, I was uh, taken in their car and I had a gun to my head and my head was on the ground and uh, the first thing that came to me uh, was, you know, I have to create a sense of belongingness with these men, you know, and they were planning to take me. It is, it is. So the first thing I did is I said, brothers, where are you taking me? And they said, sister, shut up, you know. And the whole dialogue, um, while they had me for six hours, was them, uh, whether they were abusing me or whether they were threatening me, they were calling me sister, and I was calling them brother. So somewhere that chord was struck, you know. And another thing where I feel, you know, I've been teaching these principles for so long, you don't even realize how ingrained they become in you. And another thing is, um, which Sri Sri Ravi Shankar says, you know, within every culprit, there's a victim crying for help. So you have to be compassionate. People, when they're doing something wrong, look behind why they're doing what they're doing. They're not enjoying what they're doing. And uh, being an African as well, you know, born in Africa, I know that a lot of crime happens because there's a lot of poverty. People are desperate. They've turned to crime. It's not that they're psychopaths or they enjoy taking people and killing them and doing things like that. So I talked to these six men, you know, they were abusing me, they were threatening to do all sorts of things. And I kept telling them, brothers, I know you're good. I know you know, you don't want to be doing this, but I know you probably have a family to feed, you know, and so take what you need, but, you know, take my bag, take my jewelry, whatever, but there's no point taking me for a few days, 
because either you'll end up getting caught or something will happen, you know, so it'll be, nobody will win at the end. So I actually reasoned with them. I gave them every principle of leadership I learned through the mm -hmm. art of living. And at the end of six hours, they actually decided, fine, they didn't drop me back to where they <laughs> took me from, but they left me in a bush. They did tie me up, um, but um, two of the guys actually came and they loosened the wires a little and they actually said, we're sorry to be doing this to you, but at least they didn't harm me. They didn't do any horrendous act with me. And at the end of it, they let me go and I hitchhiked home. Of course, I had to calm my parents down, you know, and the whole community who had gathered now searching for me. But um, it gave me a chance to look back and see that, um, you know, every every quality that I had seen Sri Sri Ravi Shankar represent, you know, of being compassionate, you know, listening to why it is they actually doing what they're doing, you know, feeling like, okay, I can, I can actually make a difference even in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. you know and and I did and I was able to talk about it and I'm here sharing it with you today so so to me a true leader is one that um, inspires you know is constantly inspiring I mean there's a big difference between motivating and inspiring with motivation you constantly need something to keep pushing you right. with inspiration I mean I wake up every morning and great. I feel how can I make a difference today I don't want my day to be a waste when I go to sleep at night, I want to know that I have made a difference on this planet. Mm -hmm. And that, I believe, is, is a result of true inspirational leadership. You know? mm -hmm. so.